Long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a terrible, terrible thing happened. There used to be a woman on the screen, Savers, named Morgan Webb, who was the star of the show, and then, yes, she gets her own show, and she leaves. Ah, but there is an advantage to having my own show. I can bring her back! Yay! Yay! From X-Play, ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Webb. It's so... Oh, gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. Oh, we're so glad to have you. <laughs> Thanks. Forget that Adam, what's his name? You, I don't know his name. from now on, you come to the show, okay? <laughs> okay. So we're going to talk now. If you're a game player, you've yeah. obviously you've probably collected a lot of games. And one of the problems is when you get to a new game system, you kind of have to leave the game behind. For instance, you, I know you love your Game Boy. Now this is the latest Careful. one, the, the SP. <laughs> I won't drop it. Uh, but if you've got a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, or Game Boy SP, now there's a way you can play these games. Yes. On your GameCube. And this is even more important because this, the SP, has a backlight. The old Game Boy Advances weren't that good. You couldn't really. You, you had to buy these lighting contraptions, yeah, was, and you were staring it was for, at them. It was for eight-year-olds. Oh, yeah. With really good eyes. Even you noticed that, huh? You can't see them unless you're, like, in full bright sunlight, angling it just right. So what is this, though? Okay. This is the Game Boy Player. It's just sort of this little plastic thing. It doesn't look like it's going to do anything. But you go ahead, and you flip over your GameCube. So I'll have to have a GameCube to you use this. You have to have a GameCube. Okay. And it just... These little covers come off for other accessories. Yeah, and this and is one of them. This is one of them, and you just... It Should we install it? Let's just stick it on. Oh, well, that was easy. And I and like how the down. screws are um, actually attached in the Game Boy. You thing. can't you lose them. You cannot lose the screws. I love that. This is idiot-proof. How much does this cost? Um, this is $50 if you buy it separately, but for a limited time, if you buy a, a new GameCube, you can choose to get this Game Boy Player instead of a new game. And then it has a slot in here, right? Right, so we'll just turn it over. Okay. And oh, oh, we, oh, lost we lost the, the cable. Power we'll plug cord. it back in. That's okay. all right. That's easy. Yeah, that's the scan. There, there you right go. There. Okay. Okay. And now, so we slide this into the slot on the we're front. Turn this around, and then okay. that just goes upside down. Upside down. The other way, into the like slot that? on the bottom. There. Okay. Now we take. It just snaps in. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, wait, we're playing the wrong game. Oh, you don't want to play that game? We don't want to play that That's game. That's the game you we were playing. We want to play the good game. This is my. Super this Mario is Henry's Brothers. favorite game oh, of all yeah. time. Now, how good is this? Game? We're going to play it on a. Well, we should. This will be a good test. Yeah. Now, oh, you need this, too. So you have to have some software in there? Yeah, this comes with it. It's just okay. the, you know, disc. There's a little program that tells it what to do. Exactly. All right. And then, hopefully, if we did everything correctly, the incredibly complicated installation process. There it is. And it works. Now, what's <laughs> neat is, uh, and this is a good test, we're going to do it on a giant screen TV. This is going to take what was designed for a screen this small right. and blow it up to a screen that big. Now, this, of course, is I'm playing a Super Mario Advance. Uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. Very yes. long name for a very small game. Henry's favorite game. Right, so this is an old game, so this is not taking advantage of all the capabilities. But it still looks of the great. Game Boy Player. We'll show those. You know, it looks like a, an SNES game. That's what it is. Okay. This is exactly what it's, it, is. it is. So it's really the same. It's the same game. It's as if you had an SNES. Exactly, and okay. people love these games. Now I'm going through some of the well, options this is new on the now. game player. So you, these are, this is specific to the. Oh. Yes, exactly. You can change like the frame color, all that kind of stuff. Oh. Um, so then. We all, you know uh, how much we, we love Super Mario Bros. This is Brothers? a great one. Do you ever play the old Mario Brothers? You always play Super Mario World. I always play Super yeah, Mario World. Yeah, me too. Because yeah. um, the first ones didn't really translate yeah. that well even no. to the Game no. Boy. Yeah. So these are the this best. This is the game. Yeah. These are the best games. There's yeah. also a three, which is also really good. I haven't played that yet. Is that new? Oh, no. no? It's, it's relatively okay. new, but... Um, Do you always play Luigi game or game Mario? Game. You like Mario? Mario. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And yay, jumpy, jumpy. <laughs> la, la, la. Do we, are we not, we're not getting audio. I don't know if that's because we messed something up or if we're not, we're just not tracking it. But uh, there's audio too, yeah, I presume, right? Yeah, you hear the Game Boy audio? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's the rinky dink stuff. And you, really do, 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 do. and you can play with the controller. Oh, and you can also play. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> mamma mia. There we go. Yes. So this doesn't improve the picture or make the sound any better, but I gotta say, it's a high enough resolution picture that it looks pretty good even on a big screen TV. It looks just like I remember it looking. Ah, falling down. Let's try the other game because that's the new one. Okay, right? well I have videos of these games. Actually, okay. So, we don't have to... so let's see what some of the other games. These are these are your current favorites on the uh, game. These Boy? are my current favorites. This is some more of a Yoshi's. Yoshi's Island, of course, remember, everyone remembers, like, going on there. Oh, wow, look at Golden that. Sun 2, The Lost Age. Oh, Abby's going to love this because she's is, a Final Fantasy fan. This has got a 5 out of 5. It's a great role-playing game. It's rated E for everyone. Um, it's one of my favorite oh, games. she's going to love this. I'm addicted to it. There's spatial puzzle solving. You meet, it's like, great characters. There's happy faces and sad faces. It's great for all ages. What's I'm this called again? I love it. 
It's Golden Sun to the Lost Age. Golden Sun to the Lost Age. It's lots oh, of like, complicated It's, it's totally puzzles. like Final Fantasy, though. She will love this. Yeah, exact yeah. same idea, role-playing games. Yeah, yeah. All the same. The other one we have, is you were looking at earlier, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. This is the one you can't stop playing. I can't stop playing I can't believe how good this looks. I've had this game for an extremely long time to have had this game for months and I still can't stop playing First of all, lots of detail on the screen. I mean, oh, it's a beautiful just looking game. it's gorgeous to look at. Yeah. And there's definitely, there's times when like the moon, you know, is moving different areas around. It's just... You know, it looks like a little like Prince of Persia right here. Um, this is old Prince of Persia game? Yeah. Or sign out of the Yeah, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this looks fun. Look how good that looks. And it has like all the elements of the old Castlevania games that we all love. The oh, yeah. jumping, the whip sword. Yeah. Like, I think, I always call it the chain sword. It's got a chain. It's a whip sword is what that I, is? No, it's called a chain. Everyone yells right. at me. I've always called it the whip sword. It looks like a chain to me. All right. Well, whatever you like. You know, you call it anything you want, Morgan. Yeah. Because you thanks. are Morgan. Thank you. Look at that. Get the bats. Man, did you, was this you playing or did you have this a... This was me playing. You're good. Um, It's rated T for teen because it is a little bit more... There's a little bloodiness. It's a little more gruesome. You yeah. fight Dracula then and it's very, it's a little bit more, but it's... Henry's going to love it. It's uh, a great game. It's a lot of fun. I love uh, the replay value of all these games. You can right. play them over and over, which is good value for, if you're spending 23 bucks on a game, Sure. you want to play it a long time. Right. Yes. Yes. Well, you notice how I keep saying Henry and Abby are going to love these games? Yeah. Guess who plays Yeah, it. Leo's going to love these yeah. games. <laughs> <laughs> how much again for the adapter okay. on the bottom? It's $50 if you just, you know, buy it separately. And you can buy it separately you if you already have it a cube. And it comes in any color. I just brought a different color one just to kind of differentiate so it a little see. bit. Right. Yeah. Um, and then if you buy a GameCube for a limited time, they're brand new. It only came out in the United States on the 23rd oh. of June. So you, oh, just, it's a week old. Yeah, it's just on the oh. market. Yes. Okay. Um, but if you buy a GameCube for $149, you can choose to get either a game or the Game Boy Player with on it. On the way home. Yep. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> now we'll have a PlayStation 2, an Xbox, and a GameCube. Oh. Plus the Game I'm Boys. We got, we got all the games. And, of course, I don't let the kids play them ever. To find out more about the... <laughs> No, it's my turn. <laughs> to find out more about these games and the, the player, of course, go to our website, techtv.com slash call for help.